today and i've got a familiar guest jay yorker with chicken shrimp and fries what's up jay yes yes y'all how y'all doing what's up what's up right, so back at it jay's on location Positive right now games. <laughs> yes yes jay's on location right now of uh where he, he conducts his business where he's got his uh his shop uh the chicken shrimp and fries uh last time um, we talked, it was almost a year ago, um, we talked about the movies and and uh, your career so far, but today I kind of wanted to just focus on uh, the business side of it. So, uh, every day? Yeah, yeah, yeah between, every day. The stuff I do when, uh, when I'm not on set? <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. So when you're not on set and you're, you know, you're putting in more work, obviously right there on location, to, uh, tell, tell us about it. Hey, well, uh, I've been doing a little, you know, pop up, little food pop up, which is uh, chicken, shrimp, and fries, as well as uh, deep fried Oreos. They're delicious. Y'all get a chance, uh, you know, check us out on Instagram, chicken, shrimp, and fries. That way, you'll be able to know where we're at and when we're there and what time. You know, we do pop ups, catering, uh, events, everything. You know, but right now we're currently uh, in front of 745 South Broadway. And it's almost like, you know, like it, it turned into almost like a little, like, 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 like the old school Black Wall Street in a sense, man. Because right next door, I'm okay in the camera. We have okay. uh, the downtown uh, corner barbershop. So if you're downtown on Broadway, 745 Broadway, right next door is the corner barbershop. You know, uh, shout out to Foot Locker, who I also have been, you know, had a great opportunity of doing two commercials with them. Uh, actually, three, I believe. And uh, who else is out here? We got we got the Apple Tower across the street. Shout out to the Jordan Store Foot Locker. Yes, sir. We're here. Chicken yeah. shrimp and fries. So uh, obviously, uh, we we tried the food. Uh, me and my family back in June, um, and I can co-sign on that on the food. It was really good. Um, we yeah, we got the chicken shrimp and fries. My wife was mad a little bit because uh, she didn't know that there was fish too. She she's a big uh, yeah, she's big on fish. So I, I kind of got a little bit of an earful. She wanted to try it. Oh oh, next time yeah. next time we left room for something else. <laughs> yeah, and, and the deep fried Oreos. So we we didn't have no room for them. You know when we were sitting there, but when we took them back uh, to the hotel, that was dinner or excuse me dessert. So uh, yeah, the Oreos to, hold up pretty well, right? You may have maybe liked them better later than, than when they fresh out. Yeah, see, so yeah, we put them in the fridge, and so when they came out kind of cold, it was uh, it was a pretty unique blend. It was real good. Yeah. So yeah. um, yeah. So what's the feedback like when you're sitting there and you're uh, because uh, when I went, I remember it was just you there. You you were doing a little bit of everything. You you were taking the cash. You were making the food, taking the orders. Right. So uh, what, what's the feedback like when uh, people are walking up there? The feedback is just fun, uh, spontaneous, electric, and, you know, just all positive energy. It's, it's really fun out here. As you see, I got a smile on your face, on uh, my face. And it's just great vibes, man, you know, to be amongst the people. I started out, uh, you know, uh, be, you know, working like this, with you know, with people uh, when I was doing, when I would sell CDs. You know, I would sell CDs, my own music. So in order to sell your own CDs, you got to be approaching people, you know, but otherwise they'll just walk, walk right by you. So right. I would go to like malls outside of different places and, you know, hey, how you doing? I have to talk to people. So I learned the different nuances in that and just really uh, hone my skills and my, and my game. And I think I have it down pretty well now. I sold over 2,000 CDs in my time, uh, moved on from that hustle, kind of when the CDs switched and they got out of style. Uh, and and I found something else I love to do, which is uh, which is cook and, and serve the people and incorporate it the same thing, you know. And I, hey man, appreciate you coming by. Have a blessing. How you doing, man? Chicken, shrimp, fries, deep fried Oreos. You know, I don't let a face pass me, man. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody walk by, I'm on them, and you'd be surprised because you know, out of out of them, hey, you might get a hundred no's, at least you get twenty yeses. It's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you don't even try those a hundred no's. You, ain't, you may never find those 20 yeses. Exactly. <laughs> so, 
why why that location you feel like that's just the best um area to you know to draw people in um what what made you settle in on on downtown la uh well i like downtown la because uh there's there's a, a lot of people traveling through here um it's just a good vibe i love the city how you doing got chicken shrimp and fries deep fried oreos get a chance check us out and bless got my, my guy back here he's on the jo2 but uh but yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, also it's convenient. Let's be honest. I live right down the streets. So okay. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> and, uh, so it's convenient. I could drop the kids off and get back and you know and, and try to make a make a make a ends meet for the family for the kids. That's what it's all for at the end of the day. You know. You, you get a lot of people that notice you from uh, from the movie side of it. Um, uh, sometimes, sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes, once they figure it out and stuff, maybe sometimes it be some interesting conversations. <laughs> and was that was that a family thing that you kind of started uh, with with cooking and, and the, you know, the pop-up? Was that something that came from, you know, well, it's the definitely family? Been, it's definitely been deep-rooted. Like, you know, all my life was when I lived with my mom a long time ago and stuff, my parents, we had home-cooked meals almost every night, every other night, you know? Now I'm living by myself. I'm, I am found myself not really having home cooked meals like that. I'm, I literally eat out mostly all the time, you know, which is interesting. But I cook because I, I cook at work though. Right, right, right. <laughs> so I like, I like my break when I get home. Ooh. But uh, I definitely big cookers in my family and it's, it's crazy. Like my grandfather had a garden. He used to like, like it's really deep rooted. You know, and, and now my mom, shout out to her. She has her own catering, which is Spanky's catering. Um, my aunt has her catering as well. Uh, and it's, it's, so it's, it, it definitely is a family family thing. But I do I also have to give props to Zogi, uh, who is, uh, if you go on, on Instagram or social media or anywhere, it's Zogi, Z-O-A-G-I-E-S, all right? And that's a food truck. And he was one of the first people who I've worked for who not only had me working for him, but he showed me everything, all the nuances and, and pushed me to be more than just an employee. So I have to give him props, you know, in, in helping me towards this vision, you know. And he also has chicken, shrimp and fish and fries, <laughs> you know, I mean, ironically, you know, which I kind of got got the idea, you know, of making something simple, quick, easy, efficient. Right. Food everyone love, you know what I mean. But he also does. He's ho he's famous for his hoagies, but he uses a Z. His name is Zogi, uh, or this is nickname is Zog Zogi, and so he used Zogies as his like a hoagie. But he has this famous, amazing hoagie selling for like a hundred dollars and they're worth it because he has like lobster, shrimp, everything on there, grilled or deep. Like he does a lot more than what I do. I, I like to keep it simple. Right. But. Uh, Mm -hmm. Simple and fast, more fast food. I try to do. Okay. And uh, and so I noticed on on Instagram too that you you'll move your uh, your your pop up shop. Like if there's an event somewhere, you'll you'll you know go down that way and and you know get the people there and, and vice versa. So absolutely, I was in uh, San Diego. I did a pop up. Um, I just had this big event in Malibu. Shout out to. Uh, the Malibu Chili Cook-Off. If chili you go to cook Instagram, off. it's, uh, you look up Malibu Chili Cook-Off or the internet, you should find it. Uh, they had a big one up there. Pretty cool, nice festival. And uh, also have done some events, you know, at different um, different locations all throughout LA, Los Angeles area. Okay. And so again, like you can, you kind of have the freedom to uh, close shop when you want, you know, if, if you've got something going on or, or whatever, you know, you don't got to really answer to nobody. So, so what's that like? Oh man, that's the good life, man. <laughs> that's, 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 you know, that's, that's a dream come true. I mean, that was my goal because I have, I have six children and, uh, and, uh, in my, my, my situation, I'm not able to really work a job and a regular job and work with someone else because of the hours. You know, I got to drop my kids off at school every day. I have to pick them up 
um, as well as, you know, I, I like to put the kids first in my household, right. you know. I put their soccer programs first or whatever they want to do, school, all that, that's first, you know what I'm saying? And I can't, I can't do that if, I, if I'm, if I'm uh, on a schedule. So with this, it's, it's been true freedom. And uh, I've been able to live, man. It's been all great. It's been, it's been very, very, uh, very, very, uh, it's been a blessing, man. Because like I said, I, I haven't been able, I, you know, I don't, I don't cancel out nothing the kids have to do. Everything they need to do comes first. And then this comes second. You're still able to make a living and survive. And that still allows you time to, uh, you know, for the movie career and, and, and uh, you know, whatever right. other ventures you got going on, not having to work, a, you know, a, a straight nine to five, you know what I mean? Right, right. At any time, point of time, I can just leave the equipment in storage and, and get on set, <laughs> get cool, on set, man. get in character and do my first love. You know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> really get in, man. And yeah, I love it. I had a, it's funny you say that. I had an opportunity to do that recently. I, I did a show. I was casting. Thank you uh, to the people from the show. I did a casting for, uh, what was it? I was on the show, guest on the show, Double Cross, Double. which is on uh, the All Black channel, All Black Network. And um, that was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I was on there with the stars of that show. Shout out to them. And, and then so, you just had a... Uh, so much a fun, though, to, to get a break from here and to go back to there and, and jump right in. Okay. And the same thing, you had a premiere a little while ago, too? Yeah. See, see, I forget. I'm, sometimes I forget. <laughs> I'm, I'm all over the place, man. I tell you what, I don't get many breaks. I make it do the kids and then do the juggle of business and may put that in there, but... I don't get a lot of breaks in between, man. It's it's always on go. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did a movie called Clean that was uh in Tribeca Film Festival. Uh, shout out to them. You know my my guy Daniel Solinger, one of the producers, uh, who got me to go see, and uh, Adrian Bro uh, Brody, who, who helped bring me in, and uh, great wonderful class like Richie Merritt. Um, great music behind the soundtrack. You know, I know Wute, uh, what's his name? Rizzo was involved as well as uh, my guy's name, Bugatti, does music pretty good. And, um, but yeah, that movie, keep it an eye out for Clean and Double Cross. Those are the two most recent projects I've done. And I know that they will be aired. Um, Tribeca and the film, film Clean did get picked up. So happy about that. And, um, you know, just waiting for somebody to call me like, hey, man, I seen you on this. I seen you on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's how I usually find out. They be like, yo, man, I see you on. Then I know it's out. Mm -hmm. You know, before I let you go, man, uh, I know you were at the uh, the game on Sunday, weren't you? I wish I was. I am a Cowboys fan, big Cowboys fan. I'll be going to the game versus... I don't even know who we first, but I'll be out there September 24th in Texas. And uh, okay. also, yeah, this game here was the Chargers, but they played the Chargers. I had to miss because the kids team. always, yeah, the kids always come first, man. I was in Utah with my other son for his soccer tournament. Oh, okay. He plays okay. national soccer, you know, so he was in the tournament in the soccer. Uh, he had a league game. He played national soccer. He had a game out there, a couple games out there in Utah. So I had to miss. You know, which is, wow. you know, I love my Cowboys, but I did send my other son and he loved oh, it. We won and great. All good. Yeah. I still haven't gotten over that loss, man. So I'm the first say one? morning. No, nah, no, nah, on Sunday. Oh, you a Chargers no, I'm, fan? I'm a Chargers fan. Man. Oh, yeah. my bad, yeah. man. Dang, <laughs> man. Y'all look good, though. Yeah, till the Y'all receivers look good. Yeah. And at least yeah. you ain't cheat us like the last team did that push y'all. Oh, you know, <laughs> Brady's going to get all the calls, man. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. Yeah. Oh, man. They say you have nothing nice to say. Don't say it all. I'm going yeah. <laughs> to keep it positive uh, on positive yeah, That's games, right. Man. Positivity, man. Well, yeah. uh, man, I appreciate you. Uh, you're, again, you're the first person to come back on as a follow-up. Oh, um, man. I'm honored, yeah. man. Thank, Thank you, you so much, brother. Anytime you, you're bro, in the L.A. Hospitality. area, you know it, man. You already know it, bro. We got a room for you, whatever, man. We got to do it. I Anything. appreciate you. We got you.
And I holler at you when I come to Arizona. If I ever make it towards that way, I know I come out there for soccer tournaments, games randomly. So yeah, we'll yeah, come on down here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, man. I appreciate you again. Um, again, you know, you're welcome back anytime. Anytime you got something that you need put out, whether it be for your your pop up or your you know movies, whatever, um, just hit me up. Beautiful, man. Thank you, and bless you and the family, brother. Positive right. games. Likewise.